I don't have a fan above me and it's so hot. So guys, maybe while we are writing our exams, we are all going to go through something like this. Maybe we are not going to have a fan above our head. Maybe the mask is going to make us un- uncomfortable. We can't go to the invigilator and tell him, "Sir, I want to sit under the fan," or "Sir, I want to sit here." That's not possible, right? But what can we do about it? I think the best way would be to wear something comfortable. You know, we can't wear something that's really fat and sweat bullets because that's going to cause some disturbance when we start writing our exams. So, the best thing is wear something comfortable. So now what about this mask? I cannot not wear the mask. If I don't have a mask, they are going to throw me out. Just like how that girl is probably going to be thrown out soon. My point is, what can we do about it? I think one small solution for my end would be we have different types of masks that are available. Maybe a mask which is like this, a surgical mask or the cloth mask. We have the N95 masks. We have different type of masks that are coming out in the market. What we can do is we can try out all of these masks and see which is the best in which we are comfortable in if you are comfortable with this mask why not if you are comfortable with the cloth mask fine you can go ahead with that but what's important is trying to figure out what we are comfortable in the second thing that i can tell you is maybe you could practice wearing a mask so you wear a mask and when you're at home solving your problems you could try it out as you solve your problems wear the mask and solve your problems this may give you some amount of practice and a few other things that i really want to tell you all about something that i'm not doing i'm not wearing a hand gloves so hand gloves could be something that's very important i do not know how many of them have touched this laptop where this laptop has been i do not know if this laptop has been sanitized but what i can do is i can keep myself safe i can keep my family safe wear a gloves the next thing would be is a water bottle it's hot you may not be under the fan you may feel thirsty you can't be like bro give me water or you can't go to the invigilator and tell him sir i need some water that doesn't it's not practical you know so what you can do is you can bring a water bottle that's transparent again that could save a lot of time and it could save and it could help you to be more safe the next thing is a sanitizer it's very important for all of us to bring a small bottle of sanitizer again transparent cool so i think i spoke about four things is a mask the hand gloves a transparent water bottle and a sanitizer to help you all write your exams in a better way so the next point oh wait a minute before going to the next point can you see the girl who was sitting there she is not there right now why because she didn't have a mask so as i said it's very important to wear your masks so anyways what are the next point the next point is your documents what are the documents that you need to get along with you for your exams number 1 your admission card number 2 the passport size photos two passport size photos and the photos of the passport size need to match the photo of the admission card please do not bring a passport size photo of your 5th standard or 6th standard the most recent passport size photo the next one is a self declaration form saying that you have not come in contact with anybody who has the corona virus also saying that you do not have any symptoms of the flu and the fifth one is any government id it could be your aadhar card your pan card your driving license anything number 1 your admission card number 2 your passport size photo number 3 the self declaration form and number 4 government id so guys now the third point the third point is leave your parents at home you know it's okay i know many of us we like our parents to be near the gate you know for like a moral support but guys we are not in the kindergarten anymore we are not in the nursery so it's okay let your parents be at home you come you worked hard for maybe 2 years 3 years or maybe even more now is the time that you show it 
give your exams relax and then go home so let your parents be at home and let them be safe so guys now the fourth point the fourth point is we have a new uncle in town and that's the corona uncle so definitely we got to be safe so please sanitize your hands sanitize your stationery before coming to the class and as i told you before get your water bottles a transparent bottle so that you may not have to borrow or i do not know ask the invigilator for some water so please keep these simple points in your mind cool no water what i just said do not ask water from somebody else preferably not preferably please get your own water bottles and as i said transparent cool and now the fifth point finally your exams are done probably you are at peace but it's very important to know please don't keep going and high five or give hugs or give kisses i don't know what we do after the exams but whatever it is let us finish our exams not just rush out but be a little calm go out go to our homes have a nice bath and then if you want you could call your friends give them a virtual hug a virtual high five discuss on the question paper but do not forget go home have a bath be safe and keep others safe i think i spoke about five points the first point was about the mask the gloves a transparent water bottle and a sanitizer the second point was about the documents please do not forget your documents the third point was let our parents be at home let them be safe let us be safe the fourth point was again about sanitizing our hands a stationery before we enter the exam hall and relax the fifth point was that let us not rush out of our exam hall let us be calm go home be safe take a good bath so these are the five points that i spoke about i know many of you all have been preparing for more than 2 years or 3 years for your exams but keep in mind these small things because these small things may really go a long way i wish you all the very very best and i hope you all do really well in your exams all the best and take care bye bye peace out and may the force be with you